Hi, my name is Terry Singh with Catamaran Guru. I'm representing this spectacular 2018 Fountain Peugeot 747 owner's version. The vessel is a 110 volt North American specification vessel, one owner from brand new, who've lived on board for the entire time and taken extremely good care of the vessel. The boat is equipped with a tender lift on the rear of the boat, which doubles up as a swim platform. There is about 960 watts of solar on the vessel with independent charge controllers. The boat comes with all the usual requirements for long distance offshore living and cruising, such as a water maker, a generator, and a large battery bank. The vessel had a brand new mainsail and a brand new Genoa uh, in the fall of 2023. Uh, the vessel is also rigged for a code zero, including a top-down furler waiting for a sale to be purchased of the new owner specifications. So why don't you join me walking through this spectacular vessel and we'll see how quite the catch looks on the inside. As you can see this Sayona 47 has a very large exterior cockpit. The rear table here has seating for eight people to dine out of fresco as you wish. Ample storage underneath the sun lounge here. Certainly on the back of the vessel here, there are two lockers for ample storage for life jackets, sailing equipment, lifelines, etc. etc. Um, on the back of the boat, we also have extremely nice, sturdily mounted stainless steel barbecue, which is plumbed into the boat's propane system. And of course, a big feature of this vessel is having access to the semi-raised helm station from the interior co rear cockpit. Advantages of this, I'm not having to go around the outside of the vessel in heavy seas to get to the steering station. So one of the most important things in sailing offshore is communication between the person at the helm and the rest of the crew. This vessel affords seamless communication and seamless flow through from the salon to the cockpit up to the helm station. Line management and accessibility is also a very key uh, feature of this vessel. Uh, quite the catch has three winches located just forward of the steering station. All the clutches and lines, reefing lines, etc., are led to one central point, making for very, very simple, easy, efficient line handling. As you can see, Quite the Catch has a very extensive lounging area on her upper deck, affording an additional space for your guests, for yourselves to escape once you're at anchor in your favorite bay. Part of what makes Quite the Catch autonomous at sea for their full-time owners are the 960 watts of solar that are installed on a custom arch on the back of the boat. Not only do we have a very large, expansive sun lounging area on top of the vessel, we have a very large, expansive play lounging area at the front of Quite the Catch. So Quite the Catch had a brand new mainsail fitted in the third quarter of 2023 last year, just two or three months ago. And as well as that, just before she departed from Deltaville down to Florida, a brand new Genoa was installed as well on the front of the boat. She is also fully rigged with a bow sprit and the associated hardware for a code zero, which also includes a top-down furler, less the sail, which is up to the new owner to choose the specifications on as and when they decide to install one. Quite the catch is windless, is located in this very expansive forward locker. Lots of room for all your fenders, lines, spare chain, spare anchors, etc. Quite the Catch has a 15 kilowatt Fisher Panda generator which is housed inside of a cocoon in the starboard engine room. So the port engine room, apart from housing the port engine, also houses the Spectra water maker which has a capacity of 30 gallons per hour. And you can also see it houses the housing battery bank for the vessel. One of the great features of Quite the Catch is the hydraulic tender lift that this dinghy is stored upon. Not only does it make for easy launching and retrieval of the tender, but it also serves as a wonderful swim platform as it can be lowered into the water. Quite the Catch is serviced by a high field 
tender with a center console with remotes for the engine and steering as well, making it a very enjoyable sport car type of dinghy. Quite the catch has a full wraparound sunshade enclosure for the rear cockpit of the vessel. And she also has full white window coverings for every window around the entire salon. The obvious advantage of the sun shades is to reduce the interior temperature of the vessel while at anchor or on the dock. Let's go take a look inside quite the catch. As you can see, she's laid out for ample, comfortable living amenities and space. She's equipped with fridges, freezers, on both sides here. She has a full burner, propane gas top. There's a microwave convection oven as well, mounted to the bulkhead here, double sink. And a very nice feature of this vessel is the center island, which not only provides storage for garbage and trash, but also a firm hold hand in a seaway. A double drawer refrigerator. These units were installed in November of 2023 as brand new units. She also has freezer compartments, four drawers inside of this unit that's mounted to the starboard side of the boat. So when you have guests that completely fill the boat up, you have one additional option for children or maybe overnight guests. This table does open up and with additional cushions that are stored in the four peaks, makes into a very nice lounging area or an additional very large bed. The nav station for quite the catch is a more simplified version of the instrumentation on the helm station. You have your Garmin chart plotter here, which has the ability to show not just your physical position, AIS, as well as radar targets, but all the functions of the boat's engines, wind direction, speed, etc., etc. So quite the catch is electrical system is controlled from one central point right here. All of your AC and DC breakers are located in this location. You also have a remote starter for the Fisher Panda generator. And you also have the control panel for your Victron charge controller slash inverter. The nicest features of this vessel is the expansive, extensive living area that the owner's suite provides. Storage of personal items is always a challenge on boats. Quite the catch is very, very well equipped with storage all the way up here in these cabinets. Underneath the bed, we have lockers, storage here. Underneath here where the television mounts, there's a big writing desk with a credenza, drawer storage, and also a hanging locker up here forward of the, the cabin. Another great feature of this vessel is the very, very large ensuite, which is probably as big as you're gonna find in any vessel of this size. I'm six foot two, ample headroom with a walking shower, as you can see. A lot of storage for your toiletries, your personal artifacts, items, etc. This vessel offers a complete separate head with closable door and access to the full peak for more additional storage. So the starboard hull contains your guest suites. You have two, both with en suite and forward. Run rear. Note that this is a very light, airy cabin. There are windows to the rear and windows to the side. And again, a great feature of this vessel is the copious amounts of storage within. As you can see, there is a separate shower stall, which is able to be closed off, keeping the rest of the head dry. Again, the same theme continues through forward up to the additional guest berth with, once again, copious amounts of storage. This is a linen closet that goes in about three feet. So forward in the starboard hull, we have a crew berth, which is completely self-contained. Also note that it has its own separate head. Thank you for taking this tour of Quite the Catch, the 2018 747 owner's version. If you need more information and details, please reach out to me, Terry Singh at catamaranguru.com. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.